up guys and welcome back to another video in a few days we'll know what the new iphone will look like so i decided to take latest rumors and leaks to find out what we know about this iphone i already made a few videos about it literally after the iphone 15 came out people were talking about the iphone 16 a few months ago i also talked about the iphone 16 but we are a few days from finally revealing what this mysterious phone will look like. So we need to see what the rumors at least have been cooking for us. Is there something that is most likely to become true in a few days? And something that will keep staying a rumor. We have had this iPhone Ultra rumors. I still don't see it happening. Definitely not this year. I even saw rumors about the iphone 17 already we don't even know what the iphone 16 will look like but now we have rumors about the iphone 17 so let's check what we know about the upcoming iphone 16. some of the rumors for the new iphones are larger displays and vertical camera layouts. I have seen all these memes with people with iPhone 12 are laughing at people who get iPhone 16 just because of the camera layout on the base model. So is this thing finally coming true? We're about to find out. Larger displays, biggest ever iPhone. This year's iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 60 Pro Max are rumored to be getting bigger display sizes, increasing to 6.27 and 6.86 inches respectively. For comparison, the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max are equipped with 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch displays respectively. The new display sizes will be the largest ever for an iPhone. Vertical camera layout, iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. Apple's iPhone 16 base models will feature a vertical camera arrangement with a pillar-shaped raised surface instead of a diagonal camera arrangement like the iPhone 15. The new camera bump features two separate camera rings for the wide and ultra-wide cameras. The vertical camera layout is expected to enable spatial video recording, which is currently limited to the iPhone 15 Pro models. So basically, they are trying to get some of the Pro features to their non-Pro models and make it look more like a Pro. But of course, they will do even better features for the Pro model, so you have to reason to get the Pro and not to get to the base models. But I'm still wondering what the colors will be. Other rumors suggest that the battery life will get fixed on these iPhones and that we'll also have a capture button. Yes, I have talked about this capture button before and people keep talking about it. So maybe you'll finally come true, but will it be to all the iPhone 16s or it will be limited only to the Pro models? So battery changes all iPhone 16 models. Rumors suggest the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature larger batteries than their predecessors. Although the smaller iPhone 16 Pro device could see the biggest improvement, while the iPhone 16 Plus may have reduced capacity. The iPhone 16 is said to have a 6% increase over the iPhone 15, with the iPhone 16 Pro Max gaining a 5% increase and the iPhone 16 Pro seeing a 9% increase. In contrast, the iPhone 16 Plus is rumored to have a 9% reduction in capacity. In other hand, Apple could also potentially use stacked battery technology to increase energy, density, and prolonged lifespan across the lineup. Capture button. New camera capabilities. All iPhone 16 models will have a new capture button dedicated to triggering image or video capture. The button will add features like the ability to zoom in and zoom out by swiping left and right on the button, focus on the subject with a light press and activate the recording with a more forceful press. The capture button will be located on the bottom right side of the iPhone 16 and will take the place of the MM Wave antenna on the US iPhone models with the antenna relocating to the left side of the device below the volume and the action buttons. So basically, they're still believing that the action button will happen. And honestly, I'm not mad about this because it will be cool to have a button which only takes photos and videos for all the creators. That will be very useful. But I don't mind because literally on my lock screen, I have the camera app. So this is helping me to just use my photos and videos. But it will be interesting to see what this button can do, except 
for everything else that was just said. Rumors suggest that we might get more storage and more memory. You know that the biggest storage you can get is on the iPhone Pro models and this is up to one terabyte. But can we do it just like the iPads and get two terabytes? We are about to find out. Expanded storage, both iPhone 16 Pro models. The iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max will be available with double the maximum storage capacity as the iPhone 15 Pro models increasing from one terabyte to two terabytes according to one rumor. The move is said to be a result of Apple switch to higher density quad level cell NAND flash for higher storage model. Apple's use of QOC NAND could allow Apple to fit more storage into smaller space and it is less expensive than triple level cell NAND which current iPhones use. On the downside, QOC has comparatively slower read and write speed, increased memory on the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus. Apple's iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus models have been rumored to be both feature 8 gigs of RAM, an increase of the 6 gigs of RAM in the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus. More working memory should equate to improved performance for multitasking on the iPhone. Apple has hinted that plenty of RAM is required for Apple Intelligence features, so it perhaps no coincidence that all devices in the iPhone 16 lineup will have at least 8 gigs of RAM. You know, you have more features, you need more RAM for this. And we all know that in WWDC, Apple talked an hour for Apple Intelligence. So with all the features that they're planning to put into their new iPhone lineup, they definitely need more RAM. Next, we have ultra thin bezel technology and new titanium polish finish. We all know that titanium is only in the Pro model, so we won't be expecting this into the base iPhone lineup, but we're excited to see what will happen. So ultra thin bezel technology maximize display size. Apple plans to maximize the display size on the iPhone 16 series by using a new ultra thin bezel technology according to one rumor. Apple will use border reduction structure technology to minimize the bezel at the bottom of the display. BRS achieves this by rolling up to the internal copper wearing into a more compact package. Apple reported the plans to apply the borderless display technology to all four iPhone 16 models, but the Pro models will have the thinnest bezel of any smartphone being the screen board thinness of even the latest iPhone 15 Pro devices. New Polish titanium finish iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max. Apple will use an improved finish process for the titanium chassis on the iPhone 16 Pro models according to one rumor. The new process will allegedly make the iPhone 16 Pro and the Pro Max look more polished than the iPhone 15 Pro models which have brushed finish. The improved manufacturing process will result in a glossy appearance that is more akin to the heavenly polished stainless steel material used in previous Pro iPhones. However, the new titanium finish will be less prone to scratches compared to the stainless steel. So with every room, of course, you have pros and cons. Some people will enjoy it, some people won't. But I think that it's good that they keep improving the iPhones. After all, we need to have a reason to get the new one, not to be stuck with the other one, of course, I will complain. It's not that big of a difference. I'll still use my other iPhone, but I know that people will get excited for the new iPhone changes. Last but not least, we have reduced lens flare and new color, something that I'm always excited about. Even if I won't buy the new iPhone, I just want to know what the new colors will be. Will Apple finally make a pink iPhone into the Pro models? You know, we have gray, we have white, we have this titanium color is blue, purple, but we have pink, so many people wanted it, and I'm excited to see what will happen. So reduced lens flare, less photo artifacts. Apple is said to be testing new anti-reflecting optical coating technology for its iPhone cameras that could improve the quality of photos by reducing artifacts like lens flare and ghosting. Apple plans to bring the new atomic layer deposition equipment into the iPhone camera less manufacturing process to apply the coating. LED applied materials can also protect against environmental damage to the camera lens system without affecting the sensor's ability to capture light effectively. New colors, all iPhone 16 models. The iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max are expected to be available in black, white or silver, gray, 
for natural titanium and rose. This suggests that the iPhone 15 Pro's blue titanium option will be discontinued and replaced with a new rose or rose gold titanium color, which could even have a bronze appearance underneath certain lightning conditions. Meanwhile, the iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Plus, is said to be coming in black, green, pink, blue, and white. Compared to the iPhone 15, this means that the white will replace yellow with the other colors remaining the same. So, we have a chance of getting a rose gold iPhone 16 Pro Max. Uh, remember my iPhone 6S in rose gold? But that was so long ago, we finally bring it this color back in this year's iPhones, and I'm so happy about it. Okay guys, that will be really hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what of these rumors and leaks you're most excited to come true to the this year's iPhone. As I already said, there are rumors about the upcoming iPhone 17. Do you realize this? Also comment down below if you want me to do leaks and videos about this iPhone 17 after the iPhone 16 comes out that it will last year. And I have to say, we'll finally know what from the finished product will be featured into the next year's iPhone. If there is only people suggested that since Apple Vision Pro comes alive, there won't be an iPhone anymore. I'm glad that this is not the case and we're having an iPhone this year. Also, let's not forget that usually with the iPhones comes an Apple Watch. I'm not looking to get one, but I might change my mind if Apple does something to convince me that I need to get a smartwatch. But that would be really hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button and like this video, share it with friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you're notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!